What is up guys and welcome back. Right, eventually got to the point where I can take on the hardest horde in the game on the hardest difficulty setting. Now, is it as difficult as the hard one or more difficult? I couldn't really say. I think I'm way more experienced now with the the ins and outs of this area. So I knew where I was running, kind of like when I did it on hard mode, but I couldn't you know, distinctively see any more difficulty than the actual hard mode. So going through the weapons quick sticks here, the chopper and the RPD obviously and obviously as well your napalm and I do utilize the smoke bombs a lot more as in uh, bunching them up as well as when you cut those logs and they fall you put a smoke bomb in there as well and you can bunch them up a lot more than just doing the actual cutting itself so we're going to get very up close and personal uh, this time around and last time I kind of exited the area I went up the road a bit this time I maintain I stayed within the area the whole time and managed to do the entire thing without any damage it got, it got very close as you will see a couple of swipes just above my head um, and I ran out of ammunition for some reason I think I was using the wrong weapon um, the chopper instead of the RPD which holds uh, 105 I think and I haven't been able to get um, trust level 3 on the south area the crater leg to get the upgraded clip because I just wanted to get back here and do this so as you can see I am directly beneath these bastards now so I put one down there in that passage where you saw, one over here, and one on the stairs over here. Now on my practice runs, uh, that I did this, I think it was uh, the second run or third run that I did it, but um, the first two times these bombs blew up because they're remote bombs, they're not proximity bombs, but the second the freaker gets close to it, it just blows up. So I don't know again if that's a glitch, but it was very irritating. Now I got unlucky at the start here because one guy woke up and started running towards me. I didn't have enough time to properly place the napalm where I wanted it. But it's alright because I latted it anyway. And you see I killed the button throwing the, throwing the attractor when I died. And I should have shot that guy there because uh, I actually think I do shoot him now. At the bottom there. But um, yeah, I think I used the, I did use the same route as I did the other time. But over here, uh, I just added this little section over here because there's a lot of pathways ins and out right here as you can see. So I spammed the remote bombs there. And then I use the smoke bomb over here. And I was managing to bunch them up quite nicely over here. But guys, I'm going to let this video play out and I'm going to catch it in.
So there we have it guys, 500 strong, Horde on the hardest setting in the bag. Uh, the second you see the fill the truck text up there, that means you've actually finished it because it doesn't actually tell you that's a Horde because it's a story mission, although it does count towards the uh, Horde killer story quest line. But yeah, guys, um, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, because I've got a save game before this, so I'll be able to come back and do this anytime that I want. But um, as you will see now, I don't show me collecting all of them. I just skip ahead and then I go to the inventory now. And as you can see, it is 505, the five being the runners I, I took out on the way to the horde. But guys, I really hope you're enjoying the content. Smash the like button, please, if you are. Um, any comments you have, just ask. I'm always going to reply. I'm going to leave you with some more footage Holy of shit. the same footage, actually, but just to make the video a little bit longer. So guys, I want to say thank you yeah. so much for watching, and I'm going to catch That's you on the next one. I drive the truck. You fight the freakers.
another bounty. 